North Carolina Central and Florida A&M meet for the seventh time in program history as we bring you this preview brought to you by G. Allen Incorporated. Check out the website at imwithg.com. I'm Chris Hooks, joined by the head coach of the Eagles, Henry Fraser III, as the Eagles look to make it two in a row after their 14-7 win over Delaware State. Coach, congratulations on your first win in the MEAC last week against the Hornets. I know you got to be happy about that, but still got two games left in the 2011 season. Oh, yeah, we're definitely happy about it. We were able to get our first conference win, and we were on the slide there. We had lost, had won in a long, long time, and um, you know, I was proud of the guys. We were able to go on the road, and they were able to gut out a win. I mean, we were on the other end of so many close ball games over the season, and it was our fifth, fourth quarter lead, and we were able to sustain it and, uh, and come out on top. So I'm proud about that. Yeah, it's good to certainly to, to get that win because they're seeing the fruits of their labor in that six-game losing streak. I know it'd be frustrating because you were doing the right things. You were building the program, and so you finally got to see that win. Hopefully you make it two in a row as you get ready to take on Florida A&M. That's going to be a very tough challenge as a team in the thick of a very, very tight MEAC title race. Oh, no question. Uh, they're, they're a good football team, and, and yeah, we, we're going to continue to do the things you know that, that we believe is, is in the best interest of our football program, and we are building the football program, man. and we're going to continue to work hard, watch film, uh, uh, develop game plans that gives us the best opportunity to win football games. And, and yes, Florida a is good. They, they're a special football team, and we got our work cut out for us. Senior day, 21 seniors will be honored here today in just a few minutes. What are your thoughts when, when, when you think about that, the senior day and that whole afternoon and that whole, just the whole process? You know, it's a culminating experience for those guys who've been here for the last four years, some five, and and, uh, you know, some of those guys have been here through the entire transition from uh, Division Two to Division One, and, and they are a special group, you know. I just wish this season would have been a little different where we could have could have won, had a winning season for those guys, and, you know, because, you know, they are a good group of young men, and, and, and they, they've, been, they've been disciplined. You know, they haven't had to run, run any guys off and, and, and cut anybody. I know those guys have, are buying into what we're selling, and, and, and they're helping build this football program, and, and uh, I definitely wish them well in their future endeavors. As well said, Coach. And I know it's going to add some extra meaning. We're winless at home at this point of the season. If we can just get over that hump and find a way to beat Florida A&M. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge hump now. It's a huge hump. But, yeah, we, we, we've we been trying to do different things and trying to, to generate – you know that momentum in our stadium, you know, because you know you want to win football games, but but more importantly, you want to win at home. And uh, you know we're going to continue to try to figure out ways to make our home field a, a home field advantage for us. And uh, we're hoping that that we come out focused, that we come out, you know, you know, trying to make some good things happen. And and that's been really the the, the mo for this ball club. When good things happen early, they tend to play a good 60 minutes of sound football and, and kind of stay in ball games. But when, when when bad things happen, you know, we kind of drop our head and kind of lack a little leadership and, and, and it's hard for us, it's hard for me as a football coach to, to get them back refocused, refocused and get them on, on track to, to go out and compete. So so we can have good things happen, then, then it gives us a, a solid chance to win ball games. Does that add any extra pressure to, to make some good things happen early the way the last two things have happened at home? No, not really extra pressure, you know, you know, because we talk about both sides. We talk about if something good happens, you know, we want to still stay focused. If something bad happens, hey, you, you want to still maintain your focus. So, you know, we're just talking about, you know, the possibility of good or bad happens, but, but just stressing the importance of playing for 60 minutes. And, and, and that's what it takes in college football. You, you're not going to just show up and, and, and just, just smash folk and, and just blow people out. You, you know, we're not that good, you know, so we know we're going to be in dog fights. And, and we know when, when that confidence level rises, you know, we can play with anyone. But, but, but when it's not as high, then, then we tend to sort of open the floodgates and, and it get ugly for us. I hope that's not the case here today, Coach. We appreciate the time. Best of luck against Florida A&M. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. That was head coach Henry Frazier III. Senior day coming up here this Saturday as North Carolina Central takes on Florida A&M in their seventh meeting here in program history. Enjoy the ball game.